Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And welcome back now. Product of the week this week is something that is absolutely essential if you want to catch some good fish. That's your leader. It's so important, Ads. That's right. And, and we're gonna f- so many different varieties. I was too, say, so. and believe it or not, there's more than one leader. Yeah. And uh, it is. It does get quite confusing because though there's plenty on the market, they're all, I guess, subtle variations on on yeah. each other. So we'll start with uh, this one here, which is a supple leader. Yep. Trolley. Yep. Get a load of that. Gives now, the definition of supple. Well, supple. Supple, the easiest way to explain it, it's easy to manage. Mm. Hard leaders can be quite, uh, can hold a lot of memory yep. and can be obviously very hard, as they're called hard leaders yeah. or tough leaders. So tying knots can be an issue depending yeah. on how, how hard it is. And this would be our number one seller through mm. the shops. And Trally, I'm not, yeah, it'd be fairly right. similar to you as well. Yeah, but Charlie, supple is leaders are supple, definitely supple, um, representative of your mother in law because I just have got a roasting from Mary. But, uh, <laughs> is supple no. representative yeah, easy to handle? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just checking. Mm. So they, they make these in a vast array of breaking strains from 20 through to 400 pound or something yeah, to okay. control that, which yeah. we won't use down here. But um, I've got a 40, 50 and 80 pound, I think, they're day, yep. which basically co- covers our kingfish market, which mm. we're in that season at the moment. Uh, snapper leaders in that 40 and 30 pound size. Um, but again, that, that's our most popular yep. leader. So one of the things with um, with leader is abrasion resistance. Correct. How is this for abrasion resistance? Because I'd say this comes in a tough as well. Yep. Tough is better for abrasion on reefs and stuff. Yeah, it is. So but is this Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've ne- yeah, never had an issue with it because it, it, they still work under the same breaking strains. It's yep. just if you're in really rocky area in particular, very yep. reefy area, then obviously tough would be. Yeah, this would tend a to cut choice. a little bit. Yeah, easier, that's right. But it? we just yeah. don't have that type of ground here. No. Nah. Yeah. Uh, hence why stuff. So, well, well, was, uh, cut me on your here, Ads, on your on your product of the week. But the reason for having a leader material for starters, and I know up our way with Murray Cod, you got the gil- and Barramundi fishing, you got the yeah. gill raker. On the side, so you're using braid, which is, as we're saying, about abrasion, yeah. abrasive resistance. Yeah, like which is, you've on, got on little to no abrasion like resistance. Like an oyster braid. shell, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. This gives you all that insurance and that last little that's bit. Right. So. That's right. And it gives you a bit of stretch mm. as well, yeah. which is hugely important, which is why the next one, boys, is made by YGK. And this is yeah. the uh, absorber, YGK Gallus absorber. Yep. This is one of the most beautiful, supple leader materials I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, this is not this just is this is soft. This is soft. Like, this is just so good to tie. That's right. To work with. Cast. You pull a fish in, you know, if, if you've got to get, say, a kingy, you've got a um, six, seven, eight kilo kingy in front of you and you can't get the net and you've just got to hoik it in. Yep. There's no memory. These, this lead yep. you throw it back Stretchy. in the water. It's just beautiful to work Stretchy. with. Stretchy. And this is a yeah. lure cast. Lure yep. cast is dream because it's so easy yep. to tie. It's very easy to cast. It keeps a low memory. That, that stretch, uh, and we talk about and it's very important because casting big lures for big fish yep. braid is as unforgiving as it gets mm. and it pulls down I find it pulls down in a, in a bigger oh um, absolutely poundages, yeah. but yeah. it pulls down and it doesn't want to spring out no yeah so no, it, it so, hugs yeah. hugs however you pull it <clears throat> it hugs that yep. knot doesn't it yeah it's just quickly so this one does also come in a fluorocarbon it does um, which is next oh okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah. talk to you then wait for it wait for it so, uh, so Dave, number three is exactly the same thing, yeah. but in a fluorocarbon. That's it. <laughs> now, the fluorocarbons naturally are quite a lot harder than, say, yeah. a supple leader. So we yeah. just spoke about the absorber yeah. in a supple leader. This is its fluorocarbon counterpart. Yeah. Still beautiful and soft. This, this is quite soft for a fluorocarbon. It is. For a flu- yeah. fluorocarbon, yeah. it is, again, lure casting. Yeah. I would not throw a lure these days without fluorocarbon because it used to be horribly expensive. Yeah. It's not anymore. It's one of the few yep. things in fishing where the quality has got better and the price has come down. Hmm. So, fluorocarbon, so I like. The main difference between that and the last one? And the, the nylon. And the nylon. Yep. Um, this basically, easiest way to explain it, invisible underwater. Yep. Yeah. And again, so if you're casting lures, it's the only way to yeah. go. Live or, baiting, or fin- definitely. Finicky a, fish, so correct. kingfish. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Live baiting, huge way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the one we spoke about yeah. before tends to be maybe some high speed yeah. stuff yeah. with the way the kingies are at the moment. I would still be using fluorocarbon yeah. on my yeah. vertical so, jigs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but 
we it's don't, beautiful. We don't find that as important as being in uh, the fresh water. Same. Fresh water Murray Cod because they, your water isn't yeah. Well, they add golf balls, don't they? Yeah. So, yeah. They golf balls. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but for the freshwater guys, you know, it's it's it, either of those are quite good. Well, yeah. that again, that's from 20 pound, yep, all the way through to 150, 200 pound, yep. which leads us into again another YGK product. This is the Nitlon DFC fluorocarbon. This is great stuff. Oh. This, and this covers all your light applications. Yep. So this is made from a three pound all the way through to a 30 pound. Three pound. Three pound. And a yeah. brim fisherman might Doesn't matter how much I spent on an eye operation, I wouldn't be able to tie that <laughs> knot, I can tell you. It's three pound. Yeah. Now this, this is a hard leader too. So it's perfect for your estuary snag fishing. Um, I'll use this for say snapper yep. offshore because I'll, I'll tend, tend to keep it really light because you want to get the hits. Mm. It's that type of fishing where getting the hit is three quarters of the battle. That's right. So you'll yeah. go really light. Yep. It's super tough, a super yep. hard coating, mm. brilliant for those snaggy situations. Yep. That is number one on yep. my lure cast. Yep. Usually, usually find that. Outfits. And squid jigs, calamari. Yes. Yeah. And, and at times when they're finicky, put three metres of that on. Correct. Yeah. Three or, metres of that. And I'm a big fan of long leaders yeah. too. Yeah, or step it down. So if you've got something like brim fishing, yep. um, if you're getting those taps on your line, yeah. they're not hooking up, step your leader down. Step it down if you're yeah, using correct. eight, go to six. If your yep. head will allow you, yep. right, bring it down to four pound, yep. I find, which yeah. is really Really, really good. Because it, yeah. it is quite amazing with this stuff how just how abrasive resistance the four yeah. pound can be mm. and how hard it is to break. Yeah, that's right. A straight pull, it's yeah. not easy no, to break. Another thing I find with this, and sorry, I'm cutting it again on you, but if you're using those really light poundages, if you're doing a knot, do more wraps. Yes. Because you need you need a, a knot which joins over a surface area rather than just relying on the yeah. knot. Yep. Yep. So you need a larger surface area. So do more wraps in your in your in your yep. in your leader to main line. What do I do? Because I'm superstition. Mm -hmm. I've got a superstition that I only go seven times round, seven times back. Well, you should put that in with your left sock. <laughs> I do. Well, and I put the left sock missed. on first too. <laughs> We've talked about that, haven't we? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> but you should do memory. seven, put your sock on, then do the other seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. And finally, <laughs> Instinct Fluorocarbon. This is the soft version of just the, we just covered it on DFC, yeah, which is yeah. the hard, this is the soft version. Yep, Basically, yep. all that means, um, spooling reels with fluorocarbon has become a huge thing in the brim market. Yeah, okay. Um, and I, So this is oh, 50 metres, so yeah, a shallow spool, 50 metres easy. Exactly yep. right, and you can top shot this and use it like a braid. Yep. I think this is where snapper fishing, particularly in Port Phillip Bay, this is what's left. This has hasn't been tapped mm. into spooling reels with fluorocarbon. We know what snapper can be like in Port Phillip Bay. It's yeah. clear water, it's not yeah. very tidal, and fish can be spooky. Um, a bit of 15 pound fluorocarbon onto your reel or over the top of some existing line could be the difference. Not too many people are playing yeah. around with it. I think it's just a little gem that's got to come, yeah. uh, I guess, for something that's so so popular yeah. and so successful in snapper fishing in Port Phillip Bay. But they make that from four pound all the way through to 50 pound. So yeah. there is uh, there's quite a lot. 30 on your 40 pound, 50 pound. Yeah, so you, yeah. Like, which I mean, you, you wouldn't spool fluorocarbon with 40 or 50 pound. There's yeah. just no point. Because it yeah. is, again, it's, it's a fluorocarbon. Yeah. So though that is the softer yeah. one of the two, yeah. it is still not as soft as, say, a standard monofilament line. Yeah. There you go. Check out Instinct and YGK leaders because uh, they're absolutely essential to your fishing. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. If it's facts about fishing that you want to know, then tune in folks because this is the show. We'll show